Murphy with uh, Ryan Ozawa and Bert Lom. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, topics to uh, cover this week. Uh, first of all, there have been a couple of Apple announcements since the last time you were here. Well, we're in the middle of what is a very geeky pair of weeks. Google just gave their announcements last week, and Apple is announcing their things next week. So okay. if you're into tech, this is there's a lot of news coming out. What's come out so far? Well, for uh, Google I.O., Google was, <clears throat> you know, they have their developer conference. So they announced M. Now usually they have a name for you know like Lollipop, but I don't know. M is just M this time. This is for their new operating system. Uh, they also came up with uh, Google Pay, which is much like Apple Pay. Right. Um, another thing they did was kind of an interesting twist on cardboard, which was like their VR viewer. So there's some new things that uh, GoPro is going to be doing, and you can do like a whole 360 panorama. The thing that's interesting to me is something called Photos. Now Apple came up with Photos, and now Google is coming up with Photos. And actually, Google's photo product, I think, is pretty cool because it has something called Assistant, and it gives you a whole bunch of different ways of looking at your photos. You can do by face recognition, if you want to look at cats, if you want to look at places. So it gives you a real good way of categorizing all of your photos. This was inevitable, wasn't it, that we would all be using face recognition? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I like when you bring it up, you click on the picture of your wife, and all your pictures of your wife come up. You, click, you type the word cat, and if you've ever taken a picture of a cat, even in a zoo, it'll come up in that collection. When you do an image search, on Google, is their technology using that? Yes, absolutely, and I think that Google is right now head and shoulders above anybody else on that in that department. Now, you, you talked about Google. What are the uh, app rollouts we're so expecting? So Apple, Apple is uh, doing their news next week, and there's a lot of high expectations. A lot of people want them to do something with the Apple TV, the little puck. Now they've dropped the price as usually a sign that something new is coming out. I think the big thing for a lot of people for Apple is HomeKit, where you can have devices in your house, turn on and off your lights. I mean, you had this back in the 80s and 90s with Radio Shack, but now you can actually use your phone and say lights out and all the lights in your house go out or when you're driving home say turn on the, the thermostat to 78 degrees and right. warm it up. Yeah, which are the examples we all heard in the late 90s. Yes. Um, that was the, the, those were the blue sky things that we were talking about 20 years ago. Except those devices just came out I think yesterday. You can actually go to Best Buy and pick one up and control your lights that way. So it's pretty impressive. We still we still have a few seconds and, and uh, we were we were t talk, discussing before we went on the air that both of you now have Apple Watches. We're Apple Watch buddies. Yeah. <laughs> and and do you like them as much as you thought you would when uh, we first started well, talking about them? Absolutely. I mean, you know, it brings computing a little closer to yourself. So from a notification standpoint, everything is pretty much accessible from my my wrist. Now, if I really want to feel my heart, express my heartfelt feelings for Ryan, I can send him my heartbeat. And all I got to do is find him on my, <laughs> my contacts and a couple fingers, and all of a sudden, it's sending a heartbeat. Yeah. So now, is pretty, it coming up on yours? Uh, yeah, there it is. Now, <clears throat> clearly, Bert and I are very close, but probably not that close. But I think <laughs> when you do uh, with someone else, I think that the best features are definitely notifications. I use it pretty much as a watch to know yeah. what time it is. But to be able to not pull your phone out of your pocket, you do save some seconds and a lot of battery life. That okay. Way. Uh, next time, we'll figure out whether it's the Crips or the Bloods that are doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Geek Beat on Sunrise, and we'll have more of the show for you in a moment.